Baltimore's Under Armour launches a $15 million campaign to win over women. It's part of CEO Kevin Plank's plan to expand the multi-billion dollar business. Megan McCorkle has more on this new strategy. Good morning. That new campaign just launched this week. The series of commercials featuring female athletes. Dancing across the stage, Misty Copeland becomes the newest face of Under Armour. Copeland, just the second black soloist in the history of the American Ballet Theater. This commercial, part of a new $15 million marketing campaign from Under Armour, targeting women. I think her story, her will, her determination speaks to the to the average woman. Maroon PR's Chris Daly says it's no surprise the Baltimore-based company, traditionally known for menswear, is setting its sights on the female consumer. The women's apparel market is really important to them because they just see so much potential, you know, especially with that 18 to 34 year old demographic. In 2013, Under Armour did a billion dollars in sales of men's apparel. Their women's lines netted $500 million. Under Armour officials say they hope to double that number in women's sales by 2016. Their focus, clothes that can be worn both in and out of the gym. I just went in there right now and I noticed like they're having like these new stylish coats and everything and like these pants and they're, I know it's cute. Women we spoke with say they like the product and they like supporting a hometown company. I think it's good for making Maryland on the map. I only started buying stuff Under Armour when I moved here. I never did before that. Now the company hopes this campaign has them dancing to the top. Under Armour also plans to launch a new iPhone app to help women track their fitness activities. Megan McCorkle, WJZ Eyewitness News. Future Under Armour commercials will feature skier Lindsey Vaughn and soccer star Kelly O'Hara.